Hello. Last time we spoke about intents and how to use intents to make conversation more simpler, to feel more natural. But in fact, there is also another way to do that without creating intents. And it's called AI transition. So basically, the advantage is that you will not need to write all, all those intents and all those utterances. Like you will not need to build this kind of list, uh, intents and so on and so on. It's kind of simple to do it with AI transition and we can try to do it now. So it's as simple as as this. So paste a card will basically replicate everything what we have in this intent card. Uh, but without using intents and just using AI transitions. So um, we collect an answer from a customer, what he wants to do. Then we need to pass it because we save this answer into variable, uh, customer's intent, and we need to pass it as a value into the AI transition. And then we need to create a categories of the transitions. So one of the categories is to uh, schedule uh, cleaning. The other one is end conversation. And the last one, asking a question. So once that is done, we can connect transitions. And can try to remove all the old ones and replace them with the AI transition. So what else do we have? Okay, so this is no longer needed. We don't need this one. Don't need this one. So this one is no longer needed and replaced by this one. And in fact, I think that that's it. We basically replaced our functionality, what was done with the intents and utterances, the AI transition and we can try to see how it works. As we see, it understood that our intent is the registration. So it asks for the name. Okay, so we failed with the name, I guess. Uh, let's try. Okay. And one of the things that I noticed is that although like these fields like 
name, email, phone, like. In fact, they are strings, but they have some additional validation uh, that allows to pre-validate. So if someone tries to enter an email and it isn't in a format the email is supposed to be, uh, the chatbot will ask again to like re-enter that uh, value. As you can see, like he asked for the name, I entered something that doesn't seem like a name and he asked again, I entered an email instead. And after some times, it just gives up for asking for that um, value in a correct format and it just continues to move on. And as we can see, the registration was done. We get back, let's say, what payment methods do you? So now it should look in our knowledge base and give the answer. So that's the correct one. And one more AI transition is to end conversation say nothing else and we can see the conversation ended so using AI transition seems a lot simpler and i think it's a bit faster to do things than just like creating intents and utterances and i think in the future most likely i will use AI transitions. I'm not sure if, if, if there will be any valid reasons to use intents, but we'll see. So that's it for today.